हेलो गाइज संजय की एंड वेलकम बैक टू अ न्यू वीडियो फाइनली अ पीसी बिल्ड वीडियो ऑन द चैनल यू गाइज नो व्हाई आई वाज नॉट एबल टू डू अ पीसी बिल्ड वीडियो फॉर लास्ट थ्री टू फोर मंथ्स एंड इट्स नॉट जस्ट पीसी बिल्ड वी आर आल्सो होस्टिंग अ गिव अवे वेर वी आर गिविंग अवे वन और एस गेमिंग की बोर्ड वन गीगा एम एट गेमिंग माउस वन और एस टी शर्ट एंड ऑल दिस थ्री विनर्स विल ऑल्सो गेट अ कैप इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एंटर इन द गिव अवे देर इज अ ग्लिम डॉट आईओ लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो जस्ट फॉलो ऑल द इंस्ट्रक्शन एंड यू विल बी एबल टू गो थ्रू Now let's get to the PC build. First of all, let's talk about all the components that we have in this video. First one, that's the processor, is going to be i7 ten thousand seven hundred K. For the motherboard, we have Gigabyte Z four ninety Pro AX gaming motherboard, and this is a pretty good motherboard for its price tag. when it comes to graphics card and this is going to be the heart of the build as it's a gaming pc and that's going to be gigabytes geforce rtx 2070 super gaming oc 8gb variant and oh my god the graphics card is fantastic let it be i uh, will talk about the gaming performance in later part of this video for the rams we have gigabytes oras rgb 16gb memory stick and uh, you can see four sticks that's because they come with a demo kit i'll show you how that works and how cool this functionality is For storage, we have gigabytes 256 GB NVMe SSD. We have the XPG Invader cabinet over here, and for the power supply, we are going with gigabytes B700H, and it's a 700 watt power supply, which is more than enough for all the components that we have in this PC build. There is a website called as upgradewithoras.com. This is an official Gigabytes website where you can go and simply select a game that you are interested in. Like let's assume I am interested in CS:GO, and it will give you choices of PCs and PC parts based on Intel and Ryzen. Not just that, but you will be able to purchase the parts directly from the website. Website will be linked in the description box below if you are interested in checking it out. Now let's get to the PC building part. First of all, let's open up the motherboard and put it on the box itself. First thing that we are going to install is going to be the processor and that's our i7 10700k now align the triangles and simply keep the processor inside you may have to use little bit of force but not too much of force aligning the triangle is very important here though after processor it's time for the ram and this is how oris's rgb ram looks these two sticks are the actual 3200 megahertz ram each one is of 8gb but these two sticks which are demo ones as you can see there are only few pins those are only for leds so that they can light up and connect with the computer and stuff like that you will see that it works super fine now next up we are going to install aio that's from oras which has led display and everything you saw it in the beginning part of the video it is very cool but when it comes to the position of the cooler like where should i keep the fans because xpg invader has this type of cool design where i can attach it just besides the motherboard but as the liquid coolers fans are rgb then it would have thrown the air out from the system and it would have created negative pressure uh, so that's why i decided to put it on the top even though it did not really help in creating positive pressure but it's very easy just add one more fan in the front so two fans pulling the air in and three fans pushing it out in my next video i'll attach the cooler in different positions so subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload my next pc build video motherboard is already in the case so just screw it in properly i did it earlier itself but i did not talk about it just after screwing it up attach all these small wires and these cables i mean it's easy but it's tiresome work it takes time that's why i have fast forwarded this entire part i tried doing cable management i did not have a lot of time building this pc but i tried doing little bit of cable management as well it took me about uh, half an hour or 45 minutes to do everything now it's time to attach the power supply which is gigabytes b700h power supply it's a semi modular power supply just use the cables which you need to now it's time to install the rtx 2070 super the graphics card has three fans when it comes to performance it's great obviously i'll show you some gaming benchmarks later on when it comes to temperatures due to the presence of three fans the graphics card remained cool i mean it was never overheating for me and RTX 2070 super being an RTX card obviously supports ray tracing i recorded a gameplay with battlefield 5 on uh, 1080p high settings with ray tracing turned on 
and the performance was super fine not just that but the visuals oh my god i can't really show you 30 minutes of gameplay that's not possible in this video but the game looks fantastic we talked about gameplay without even talking about installing the ssd and uh, i installed the nvm ssd in the bottom part of the pc i also attached my ssd which contains all these games and i put it in the back side of the case now it's time to install windows 10 and all the softwares with and installing windows 10 was a breeze and it was very fast basically because we have an nvm ssd which has crazy speeds once you start using nvm ssds there is no going back now after installing all the drivers and necessary applications for uh, the our cooler I was able to get temperature and I can manually change everything on the cooler like I can write my own name and uh, my name will be shown over here that's cool so basically cooler has this LCD display which can be customized completely according to your need now let's talk about the gaming performance of RTX 2070 super when it comes to CSGO I mean do I even need to show FPS in this game I mean it's obviously going to be 300 400 plus FPS it's always very high basically not just that but let it be any first person shooter game RTX 2070 Super will be able to give more than 144 FPS which makes it ideal for 144Hz gaming assuming you have a 144Hz refresh rate monitor as well. Red Dead Redemption 2 had an average FPS of about 106 which is really good in my opinion and uh, the game had no issues whatsoever obviously no game had any issue as it's RTX 2070 Super. It's not any low end card it's pretty high end card and gaming performance was a breeze. GTA 5 was also able to shell out 150 to 180 FPS FPS very easily no issues whatsoever here very good FPS performance with PUBG PC as well getting 140 120 FPS easily possible with 1080p and high settings once again Rise of the Tomb Raider had an average FPS of 160. Once again, RTX 2070 Super coupled with i7 10700K was definitely going to perform really good. And I guess that's pretty much it for the gaming performance test and the PC build video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Many more PC build videos will be coming soon in the future. So do let me know your feedback suggestions in the comment section box below. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you will get notified next time I upload a video like this one. So yeah. Thank you guys, thank you for watching.